Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be drinking tea but also I'm going to be sharing with you five tips on how you can glow up this year in 2024. Make 2024 your year. Without further ado let's get on with the tips. The first tip is to lose body fat. You could have the best facial structure and if you're overweight it's just not going to show. It's just not going to shine through. So what you want to do is put yourself in a caloric deficit and then strength train so that you don't lose muscle mass. You want to preserve as much muscle mass as you can. I've made quite a few videos on how you can lose fat on my channel already, so go ahead and check those out. I'm not going to go into too much depth here, but now that is probably the most important tip I'm going to give to you today. So women can get away with a slightly higher body fat percentage, but as a guy, you want to be at that lower body fat percentage, around that 8 to 12%. Essentially, you want to be toned, not skinny. Tip number two is to get yourself a skincare routine to clear your skin. Anyone who says that looks don't matter is lying to you. Your face is the first thing that people see. Your skin quality is something that people notice and how vibrant your skin is and how clear it is. Because ultimately, if you have acne, like I struggled with acne for such a long time, people think that your hygiene is bad if you have acne. Normally people who have acne actually have a very good sense of hygiene but it just comes across like you don't because your face is covered in acne. Skin quality does matter. It really affects your confidence. And as I said, when I had really bad acne, I didn't want to go out. I didn't want people looking at me. Now I have clearer skin, but still work in progress because I still got acne scars that I need to get rid of. So I'm having laser acne removal with a microneedling pen or skin pen. If you guys are interested in that, I'll probably do like a journey before and after short and probably make like a little video series on that. If you're interested in skincare routines, I've also made like a skincare routine part one already on my channel in the short section. So again, feel free to check that out, but I'm not gonna go into too much detail here. The whole point is you need to have a skincare routine. Do your own research if you want to, or you can just watch YouTube videos like on my channel, to figure out what your skincare routine should be because that is going to help clear up your skin and help you glow up. Tip number three is to get an appropriate haircut because your haircut can also heavily influence your attractiveness or the way people perceive you. So I used to have a mop haircut. I'm not saying that the buzz cut is any better. The mop haircut covered my face and covered my ears. I used to think that my ears were really, really big and they, they are, but my face has kind of grown into them a little bit better. I also didn't have confidence in the way that it looked, so I wanted my face to be covered so that people couldn't see my face. Just like a side note, the reason I have a buzz cut is for my other job. I recently got scouted by a big modeling agency. I'll probably make like a how I got into modeling video on my channel in the very near future. But essentially, they asked me how I would feel about buzzing off my hair. At first I was quite nervous because you never know, unless you've done a buzz cut before, like how it's gonna turn out, right? So I didn't know whether I had the head shape for it. Fortunately, it turned out that I do have the head shape for it and I also have the bone structure for it. So it all turned out okay, but it's for work. So in most cases, a buzz cut will just not look good. So just don't get a buzz cut. The most appropriate haircut that you can get will depend on your face shape. Now to figure out your face shape, you can download this app. I cannot remember the name of the app, but you can like Google it. You'll take a picture of your face and it'll figure out what face shape you are. There is a filter on TikTok or Instagram as well that can tell you what face shape you are. But that particular app that I was talking about, it tells you what face shape you are, but also you can superimpose different hairstyles onto your face. So you can basically try before you buy. You can try different hairstyles to see whether they work for you before you go and tell your barber and take a big risk basically. Because trying a new hairstyle is always a big risk, right? An alternative to this, is find someone famous who already looks like you or someone on Pinterest or Instagram that looks like you. Find your phenotype. You can then see what hairstyles have worked for them and then just copy what hairstyles have worked for them and it'll probably work for you as well. The third way is if you really can't be bothered with either of these two things and you just want a simple, effective, tried and tested haircut that works for pretty much 99.9% .9 of men, it's short back and sides. Fade, grade one on the side, fade, grade one on the back and keep a tiny bit on the top and spike it up. Tip number four is to pluck your eyebrows, but there's a caveat to this. You don't want to pluck your eyebrows too much because if you overdo it, it can look quite feminine. You want to have more masculine looking eyebrows. The general rule is don't pluck above the eyebrows unless you have many stray hairs. You want to pluck your mono round, make sure that's clean. And you want to pluck underneath your eyes if you have any stray hairs there as well, because that's going to offer like contrast and make your eyebrows stand out a bit more. So you can use tweezers to pluck your eyebrows. You can also use something known as threading. I'm not great at it. I prefer to use tweezers and I'm like, I don't know. I like the pain 
of it coming out when you, it's just so satisfying when you pull out like a hair and you just get out in one. They've done studies and found that actually people are more recognized by their eyebrows. Oh, very good, excellent work. And their actual eyes. So in a sense, your eyebrows are more important than your actual eyes, which is weird to think about. Obviously, both of them are important in making up your eye area and making your eye area attractive. But if your eyebrows are really strong, it can just add to your eyes and just make you look more striking or make you look more attractive. So definitely worth investing in some tweezers and worth investing in like an eyebrow grooming regime. Tip number five, this is the last tip and it is to dress well, find your style. My wardrobe has changed pretty significantly already since getting into this kind of modeling world, still developing, but from what I've learned, contrast is key. So if you wear a baggy top, you wanna have skinnier or slim fit trousers. And if you have a skinnier, slimmer top, you wanna to have slightly more baggy trousers because that provides contrast. You've also gotta think about the coloring. So if you wear a dark jacket, like a leather jacket or a darker denim jacket or whatever I'm wearing here. By the way, I got this from Zara for a special offer at like 30 quid, which is amazing because it's normally priced at like 65 quid. So, And Zara is a great place to shop as well. Like I'm not being paid for any promotion here, but I just find you can get really top quality, fashionable items from Zara. Also that being said, a lot of the models that I know shop at Zara. So as I said, the way that you dress is important. I used to think that dressing in a tracksuit and hoodie was appropriate and it is comfortable. And you know, I said to myself, I only care about comfort, but no one's going to take you seriously if you're dressed in a tracksuit and a hoodie. How you dress is also going to depend on where you're going. So if you're going somewhere where the scenery is very vibrant, very colorful, you might want to dress in more plain colors. And if you're going somewhere that is a bit more plain, you want to dress in more vibrant colors. All right. But again, the whole idea of having contrast. If you are wearing a darker jacket, you want a lighter t-shirt, the contrast with it. I'm mean, literally, you've just got to take a shot every time I say contrast in this video. Simplicity is key here. You want single colors. You don't need shirts that have fancy patterns and designs on it. So in a sense, it'll be easier to dress because all you have to do is wear a black t-shirt or white t-shirt and just keep things simple. Anyway, I hope that you found these glow up tips useful, all five of them. If you implement them, this year, 2024, will be the year that you glow up. If you did find this video useful, then consider subscribing. Don't forget to like and comment and just let me know what you guys thought and whether, I mean, which tip did you find the most helpful? And I'll see you in the next one. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town. I'm searching for the lost and found.